Hello everyone, happy to see you here and today let's solve this really interesting equation 2 to the power x equal to x. So let's do this. First of all, let's apply natural log on both sides. Let's do this. So on the left side we apply natural log. So we have natural log of 2 to the power x and we do the same thing with the right side. So we did natural log, natural log x. Right now we need to know a really great natural log property. It's not like natural log generally, it's the log property. So if you have for example natural log a to the power b, this b will come down right here and as a result we have b times natural log a. And let's apply this property right here in this case. So as a result what do we have right here? We will have like x times natural log 2 equal to natural log x. Okay, we have something like that. Right now let's uh, let's regroup our constant on the right side for example and our variables on the left side, but first of all let's divide both sides by x. Okay, so right here let's divide both side by x. When we divide both side by x, so left side we divide by x and our right side we divide by x. As a result we cancel this x from, from left side right here and as a result we have only natural log 2 on the left side, so we have natural log 2 on the left side and equal to natural log x over x. Right now as you can see we, we divide our expression with the constant and with variables. Uh, right now let's change position a little bit because we prefer like variables on the left side, so let's do this. So we have natural log x over x equal to natural log natural log 2. Okay, right now we need to understand, we need to remember about the thing which is called Lambert W function. Okay, how does it function look like? For example, imagine we have expression like that. We have a times e to the power a, where a is wherever you want expression, wherever do you have expression, doesn't matter, but at the main moment it should be like the same, a and a right here with the power of e, okay? And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, as a result, we have only, only a, okay? So this is about, this is the thing about Lambert W function. So right now, let's try to create the expression looks like that right here on the left side. So let's do this. First of all, instead of this x, I want to write e to the power natural log x, okay? So let's do this. So what do we have right here? Natural log x all over. Instead of x, I want to write e to the power natural log x. So we have e to the power natural log x and equal to natural log 2. Okay, so I hope you understand this step, yeah? We just write these, um, instead of x we write e to the power natural log x, nothing change. Right now, let's bring this e to the power natural log x to our numerator, but with, uh, it will be like with the minus sign, because we bring from a denominator to our numerator. So what do we have right here? Natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to natural log 2. Right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. As I told before, we have Lambert W function. And we have E, we have E right here. But this expression is not the same. Right here we have natural log x and right here minus natural log x. We don't have minus right here. So right now I suggest you to multiply both sides by minus 1. And when we multiply both sides by minus 1, let's do this. So let's multiply both sides by minus 1. What do we have right here? We have minus natural log x times E to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log natural log 2. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. And right now, let's look closely. Minus natural log x and minus natural log x are the same expression. And we have, looks like, for example, this is our a, and this is our a also, yeah? And right here we have a times e to the power a, which is our Lambert W function case. So right now we can apply Lambert W function from this left, from this expression on the left side. So let's do this. So Lambert W function from this whole expression, so minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 2, but with Lambert W function. So right here we also need to apply Lambert W function. Okay, right now, key moment right here, minus natural log x and minus natural log x both are the same expression. So right now, when we apply Lambert W function, we have only, only a. But in our case, a is equal to minus natural log x. So let's write this minus natural log x. So instead of all of these things right here, we're going to write minus natural log x equal to this Lambert W function in this point, minus natural log, natural log 2. So this is a part according to Lambert W function. So I hope you, I hope you understand this thing. Right now, let's multiply both sides by minus 1 because we don't need, don't, don't, need, don't need our sign right here, this minus sign, yeah? So let's multiply both sides by minus 1. As a result, what do we have right here? Natural log x equal to minus Lambert W function of minus natural log, natural log 2. Right now we need to find, we need to find our x. 
So for the thing, let's, for example, uh, write base of E on both sides. OK, let's do this. So let's write base of E on both sides. So right here, base of E with this expression, nature log X and equal to base of E of this expression minus Lambert W function of minus nature log nature log 2. OK, and right now E to the power of nature log X equal to only X. OK, only X right here. So we have X equal to. Uh, this expression here, yeah, this is only x, so we have e to the power minus Lambert W function of minus nature log nature log 2. Right now, this minus can be written in our denominator, so as a result, we can bring our expression from numerator to denominator. And as a result, our answer x equal to 1 all over e to the power Lambert W function of minus nature log nature log 2. And this is our answer. And right now, uh, Lambert W function of this expression, this is a constant, yeah? e to the power constant, this is a constant, and as a result, we don't have, uh, like, um, our variables right here, so this is our our solution to this challenge, we solve this challenge. But a lot of students confused, because some of students, you know, uh, check this Lambert W function in, in a calculator, and here's my, mm, here's my advice to you. Lambert W function in this point, so Lambert W function in this point minus nature log 2 does not exist. OK, does not, does not exist, exist, OK, does not exist. So as, as a result, this is a complex unit. So as a result right here, Lambert W function in this point, this is complex, complex unit. And as a result, when this is a complex unit, yeah, so uh, this e to the power complex, this is a complex unit also. And as a result, this is a complex root. This is a complex root. This is a complex root. And maybe a lot of students are interested in a graph, in a plot. So I'm going to show this plot right here. So as you can see, both graphs are do does not intersect with each, with each other. So this line with x does not intersect with this um, 2 to the power x with exponential function. So as a result, we just prove that right here we don't have like a real number root. But maybe someone interested in a solution. This is a, a solution to this challenge according to Lambert W function. You can also find uh, the complex root according to uh, according to a math libraries right here. We can also solve this uh, like approximately uh, approximately answer according to math libraries right here. So we can easily find approximately solution to this challenge, okay? But this is like, a, for example, you sit in your exam, this is a full solution to your challenge. This is enough to solve this challenge. You have you have your solution, e to the power Lambert W function minus nature log 2 in the numerator and 1 in our numerator. So this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. Also write your thoughts down into the comment section. Maybe you have your, your method, your faster method. It will be really interesting to read about it. It will be really interesting to read your comments about this challenge because, for example, just agree with me, this challenge like, like that, so 2 to the power x equal to x, it's not like that hard, for example. A lot of students might be saying, okay, 2 we have right here, we have all the time x. And a lot of students um, confused in the end of the solution because they they think that uh, this is like an easy challenge. But as you can see, we need to know about Lambert W function. There is no way you, you will solve this challenge without Lambert W function. And as you can see, a lot of really like tricky natural log things right here. Okay, so from here, from here, a lot of like really tricky things. So this is like a great practice challenge for everyone. Okay, this is a great practice challenge, natural log properties. Uh, Lambert W function, uh, like um, numerator, denominator, like a power rules right here. So this is really, really great thing to practice. Okay, so I hope you, I hope you learn something new. Maybe a little bit, maybe more. It depends on you. It depends, of course, on, on my explanation. How can you understand my explanation? But I hope you, you understand it. I really hope you understand it, and I hope you learn something new. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, I have a lot of questions, so I hope you understand it, I hope you'll enjoy it. Also, thank you everyone for your support, for your support, when you leave a like, write any comment, it helps me a lot, it inspires me a lot to make new content every day. Also, write, maybe you have your question, uh, your challenges, your math, li math uh, Olympiad mathematic challenges in the comment section, it will be really interesting to read about it. And also, thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos. Uh, this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand it. I hope you learned something new. And of course, definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes. I have a lot of challenges, a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, so I hope you will enjoy it. So see you in the next videos. Have a great day. Write a question down into the comment section. Write your suggestion down into the comment section about this solution. What do you think about it? Maybe you have your approach. It will be really interesting to read about it. 
and thank you for your time, see you in the next videos and have a great day.